well, we'll see how this goes. I've got my DJI mic on. I don't know if it's gonna be too windy or not. We'll see. I'm on the WowGo 2S Max at an abandoned Sears in Lansing. Look at that gravel coming up. I don't wanna go through that. I got a helmet. Can you see it in the shadow? So I'm on my way to get some uh, silver. Trying not to crash. Woo, I'm going kind of fast in the parking lot. I guess I could hold it up. Doesn't look as fast this way. No cars, no cars. And we are here. I don't need to stop. So here we are. Not quite open yet, but it'll be open any second. I'll check back in a second, see what I got. And I'm back. So I had a blast riding around Lansing on the that uh, Eastgate. Had fun, went to Liberty Coin Service, bought some stuff. I'm gonna have to make two videos because I don't want things to be super long. So I'm gonna go over the bullion stuff and slash vintage slash etc first and so the first thing I got I got 10 ounces of silver um, bullion I got Halloween they found some Halloween stuff for me this was in the back I ended up getting two of these these are modern ones so they're not super high premium or like vintage would be but they sold them to me at like three bucks over spot like or two dollars and eighty cents over spot they've lowered their uh, standard premium a bit <clears throat> so I got two of these I might trade one off if somebody else has somebody uh, another uh, Halloween that I that's of a different style that I don't have and I got another Halloween bar another silver town the two jack-o'-lanterns with the moon and the owl on the creepy branch and these are all just the standard back ones Man, that was fun. So I, I can tell right now um, I'm going to need a short board. I'm going to need a, a mini e-electric skateboard. So let me know if you guys know about this one. This one's Silver, bu silver Bullion. One Troy ounce. I don't see a maker's mark on it. On the back is just plain, just a mirrored back. So let me know if you know who makes this one. It's not, but it's a more modern one, so I don't think it's vintage. There's no date on it, so I'll have to do some research on that. This one is not really vintage, but this is a national. Uh, this is an Anna, or a best wishes. So this is, I think, a wedding bar from 1991 from National and this is the United States National from USA Raymond and Teresa got married on August 10th 1991 apparently there we go so somebody was thoughtful enough to give them silver and I don't mind these ones that are custom engraved or personalized I think it's kinda cool for the history of it And the, the USA National Bars are a little bit less common than the, uh, <clears throat> than the Canadian ones. Next thing I got is a more modern uh, 2014 Rand Refinery Silver Bar. I don't have a Rand Refinery Silver Bar, I don't think. This is my first one, it's serialized. And this is from the Lunar 2014 Year of the Horse. Really nice condition on this one. I'm going to put this in a capsule. Because this thing is in beautiful shape. I should have turned off. Actually, let me adjust the lighting really quick. Because I never do things the way they're supposed to be done. That light off and this light on. Boom. I don't know if that will make it show up better or not. You tell me if it helped. Really cool design.
Yeah, I thought that was kind of a cool, <clears throat> kind of a cool design. Next thing I got, let me know uh, what you think here. This is a an American Pacific Mint uh, Silver Trade unit, but I don't know if this is a die crack. Let me see if I can zoom in and get get that to show up. I wonder if this will help. So I don't know if this is a die crack or what. Let me know what you think. I've got a couple other ones of these, <clears throat> but I've never seen one with a crack this way and that way. Very unusual. But I'm put, I'll am put this with the other uh, <clears throat> silver trade units. And then I, I got another one of these, uh, these trade units. This is one of the strategic stockpile ones. I dipped these in Ezest already so that because this one was almost black because it was covered with stuff. From 1981, minted from the U.S. strategic stock, stockpile of silver back when we used to hold quite possibly the most important precious metal on earth as a strategic metal. But we don't anymore because who needs solar panels and cell phones? That's just stupid. Nobody needs that stuff. Anyway, when I got this weird one here, I just saw the mint mark down here in a corner. Let me see what that is. It's a little S in a circle, so I don't know if that means it's Silvertown or what. We got Washington, Lincoln, it's Mount Rushmore here. Proclaim, claim liberty by order of the assembly on the bell there. Then on this side, it's a bicentennial, 1776 to 1976, from the Silver Mint. And this is serialized on the edge. Yeah, serial number 1777. Too bad it wasn't 1776. That would have been cool. So this, is a, this was a really intricate design. I thought it was kind of a cool design, so I grabbed it. I don't know anything about the Silver Mint, but... It looked cool, so I got it. And then the last thing I got that I don't know anything about is this one ounce five and silver Year of the Monkey from 2016. And this is a $2 coin from England for the UK. A two pound QE2 Year of the Monkey coin. Very interesting. I've never seen this one either. So I figured, hey, this would be kind of a cool one to uh, to grab. So a lot of this stuff I don't know much about. I know these Halloween bars, they're they're really uh, common. They're, I think you can still buy them right now direct from Silvertown. But I got them anyway. I'm going to put these in capsules and put them in the uh, Halloween guardhouse box. And then I will pull these out as I replace them with vintage as I find them. So that could be a multi-year experiment. Uh, the Silver Mint, limited mintage of 5,000. So the Rand Refinery, that's kind of basic, but in fantastic condition, so that, that'll get encapsulated. So, and then the, the United States National Bar. So the main things I don't know about are this one that I think might be a die crack, and I don't know if that adds anything to bullion, a die crack, or if it, or if it's even worth mentioning. So this, uh, the silver mint, this two pound coin from Great Britain, and then this bar that has no identifying features. I'm tempted to say Madison Mint because it's just a plain back, but I don't know. Anyway, that's my scores. I'm going to merge this with the intro and then uh, have one complete video with the skateboard beginning. Anyway, I'm loving the e-skate. It's it's really, uh, I mean, it's working muscles I'm not used to working, so I'm having a blast with it. Definitely try, try and find some stuff that make you, makes you healthy. For 379 bucks for an e-skate that's making you healthier and making you learn a skill, always wear a helmet, though. Anyway, I'm out of here. Have a great day, everybody. See you later.